Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, like I promised, and I'm going to continue looking at step number seven. Um, we are done with step number six and um, I wanted to start the first video so that it doesn't take uh, too long. So, like I promised uh, under step seven that um, I wanted to show you something guys about um, target windows. Um, so that you guys when you encounter such things um, you know whether to insert them from the GUI or from just the source code uh, you guys can work with that okay so I prepared this short um, presentation um, just for us to look at um, I wanted just to talk about target frames uh, or windows um, as they were called um, in the time past um, so there are certain um, targets that you can set uh, when you click on a hyperlink or certain properties that you can set when you click on a hyperlink, hyperlink and how a window is supposed to behave or how a link is supposed to behave. The first thing that I want us to look at is when the target is set to blank. Okay, so what does this do when you set your target to blank? Okay, so this opens a new window and it shows the related data so when you click on a link whose target has been set to blank what is going to happen is that the current tab will be reserved but a new tab will be opened and the data that is related to the link is actually going to be displayed on the new tab you also have a situation where you have the target is set to self what this uh, happens is that the the main window reloads itself okay um, it's, it's more like just refreshing the page okay so you have the main window reloading itself okay so the open uh, the, this opens the window in the same frame it means the existing window uh, loads itself I mistyped this but okay so then the next one is when the target is set to top what happens is that um, the window opens or opens the linked document in the full body of um, of the window okay and lastly the one that I wanted uh, to make mention of is target when target is set to parent what this does is that it opens the data in the size of the parent window okay it's more like uh, um, it loads on top of um, the, the parent window okay so these are very important um, um, uh, features of uh, target frames um, also, what you, you guys need to know is that sometimes you would want to override the default setting. Now, the default setting um, is actually target is um, set to self. That would be the default. Okay. Sometimes you would want to override uh, this one. Okay. So you can use a function or a tag that is known as base. Okay. So um, how you can do that is simply just put base and then the target and then equal to new target now the new target can be target blank uh, maybe blank or it can be top or it can be parent or, or it can even be self okay so eg you can say target is blank okay so in our question um, yeah there's one more <laughs> one more point I almost went ahead of myself so this must be placed uh, in the head HTML tag okay so when you try to override um, um, the, 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 the default setting for the target window you must do this in the head HTML tag okay and um, for example you can say inside the head, uh, head HTML tag you put base and target equal to underscore blank okay and you close your HTML tag Okay, so what this does is that it's going to overwrite if this is the default setting which is self okay and then you write this in the head head every time you click on the link it's going to actually open into a new window okay so this is what is that so let's go back to our um, our HTML page so here we are told to set uh, the name for a default target window to underscore self okay so in other words, we are going to re write the default target um, um, window. Okay, so let's go to that and uh, let's change to code or we split. So inside head, let me just put under code. You scroll up inside the head tag, 
put your cursor at the end of title there and hit enter key on your keyboard and you're going to type this tag the one that we just talked about base and then you set you <coughs> excuse me you set your target okay target will be equal to and then we were told that target should be equal to self okay so put two quotes and then put underscore self okay and go ahead and close the tag now one of the things that you should take note of is that this tag should be between this head tag and this one that's what we did or that's what we talked about um, in in here we said place it between the head tag so it can be anywhere else but between the head tag after the style okay because sometimes if you place it before the style sometimes in the style someone can modify this and um, not sure if it can work out but um, I'm thinking maybe someone can modify that but it, you have to place it after the style or outside the style maybe preferably just before the head close tab um, there and then you put this code here okay if this code is too small for you guys if you can't see um, I don't know um, maybe we should have I should have enlarged this code anyway let's not bother ourselves much with that at least you've seen what I wanted to do okay so let's go back so that is step number seven and there you go with your two marks so step number eight make, make the image of the elephant write a hyperlink to the web page for the goa elephant sanctuary to open in a new window called underscore blank okay so what this is actually asking us to do is to make this image a hyperlink and it's going to link to an existing web page and this web page is going to be the name let's see is, um let's see the name of the web page it's going to be linking to goa sanctuary elephant goa elephant sanctuary um i hope we have this page right here we don't have inside this page but we can test these other existing pages we have gtp but this one looks like it because it's gss ges and this is ges yeah this should be the one let's try to open it so just double click on it and yeah there you go goa elephant sanctuary okay so we're right so let's go ahead and um, link it to this one but set your target frame and it should open in a new window and it should be set as blank now the other one where you can set as page default is this one if you set this one then you override the one that was there so it, in a way it's the one where you can say self window or self same frame that's the self the one that we've been talking about then you have whole page which is top then you have parent frame which is that so we talked about this in the PowerPoint slide and um, but this time around we just set it in so please don't set it as a default because if you do set it as a default it overrides again the self that we are told in the in step number seven and that is going to mess up everything so set it as that and you'll see the target frame is now set as underscore blank okay there's nothing else to change so just verify that and um, click on okay and you see that this one will now become a link okay so there's a hyperlink there so next thing that we're supposed to do okay is to get the evidence now so um, save the web page okay display the web page in your browser take screenshot evidence of the web page in the browser and place this in your evidence document so let's go ahead and run this so go to file um, save file again preview browser internet explorer uh, there you go with the page and just get a screenshot of this page make sure that the um, the web page is visible so that um, someone can see that you took a screenshot from the web page okay so there you go step eight paste your web page there and go to step number nine you would need to test the website at this point explaining your evidence document what you would test in this website before it is uploaded to the internet and then you type your answer into your evidence document using no more than 100 words okay so let's come here okay first of all let's evaluate this web page before we we say we test it okay let me see 
um, where is it where is it we open it with um, this one here now one of the things that you guys will probably want to test is that um, the links are working very well and that when you click on top it actually when you click here it actually takes you to the top of the image so make sure that the anchor is working the images are working uh, very well okay the internal links and everything the mail to um, uh, like the email facility is working okay so make sure that when you click on the image here it actually takes you to the web page here okay so these are some of the things that you're going to test so let's type our explanation here okay we need to test the internal hyperlinks if you want or links and see or make sure let's say ensure that they are working how that they take us to the correct web page okay also you need to check that the email link is working and it opens an email facility is working and opens an email facility with the required subject and proper email address maybe email address in the mail to function okay so that is that is that is important okay in the mail to function if there is anything else i don't know how many ways these are we told just they should be just a hundred <laughs> okay so that that is fine okay also ensure that the um ensure that the alternative text is displayed displayed when the image is not loaded okay ensure that the alternative text is displayed when images are not loaded okay so this is enough okay let's go ahead so that is step number nine so let me see how much time I've utilized here that's about two of minutes I think for this one I'm going to end um, this video here again trying to make it a little bit shorter and um, we'll see you in the next video just in a short while okay